Power start. Okay, so shall I. Uh, get to it. What are we? Well, we believe in relationships. Relationships are built on trust. And what are we doing social hour? We're maintaining that trust. Basically, we're asking, who's watching your network? You guys have to have been living in, underneath a rock to have not read the news. City, Sega Genesis, Sony, and even the CIA have been hacked in the last month. That is only going to increase in the future. As the internet age increases, we're going to see hackers taking advantage of databases. And we need to protect that. And how are we doing that? We have an excellent management team, specifically in James F. Rufford III, the leading industry expert in social media security. Not only does he host an NBC radio show in Chicago, but he writes a plethora of articles on social media security. And if everyone in the room were to right now Google social media security, the top five links would be an article written by Mr. Rufford. Additionally, we've, we've created a team of employees, and additionally, we have Mr. Spencer Bromberg in the back and myself advising during this startup weekend. So what do we do? Well, if you can't really see that, but we monitor and we mitigate social media security in the easy-to-use web application. What we've done is we've identified five hacking tools that are common throughout the world, and we've provided three solutions and are working on the fourth and fifth, specifically the evil twin of a hack, the naive nephew, the angry employee, and, specific, and, and now we've worked on Facebook e-commerce test specific fishers and botnet provocateurs. Uh, without further delay, let's, let's listen to the expert, James. Let me explain the attacks. Hackers will create a number of fake social media LinkedIn accounts to gain trust of real employees. These fake accounts can range from board members, CEO, or even unknown users. Once the trust is established, these hackers will infiltrate company computers using status updates with tiny URL trojans. They will also gain physical access to corporations using a demand by the fake CEO account. How do we prevent this attack with social app? What we see on the top here are all people associated with your company. The middle box are HR approved people that should be representing your company. The third box are potential evil twin or suspicious malware users. We can take these users and either send them to legal in the company or send them directly to LinkedIn to have them removed off the LinkedIn network. We also have Naive Nephew that can monitor corporate social media accounts from botnets and shorten tiny mouth URL malware attacks. With Angry Employees, we can protect your brand name as well as keep track of whether old employees are sticking to their NDAs. And what we're really excited about is this weekend, we actually have a fourth offering that helps, attack, helps against Facebook uh, page attacks. Uh, what is this, you ask? Well, hackers will penetrate employee personal Facebook accounts with a man-in-the-middle attack to gain access to Facebook pages, with, usually with e-commerce sites attached to them. They will redirect the Buy Now button to direct back to their account to steal credit card numbers, information, uh, addresses, and so forth. We have now a tool that can monitor these Facebook changes to, to alert IT security uh, whether or not they're being hacked. Last, we have 150 policies and procedures to help companies keep their Facebook social media policy and procedures and compliance up to date. With this, I give you Spencer. A lot of companies have great ideas, but here at Social Out, we got have execute. First, we're going to engage three of the top Fortune 1000 clients that have been clamoring for this product. Our goal is to work with them as beta testers and within 90 days turn to revenue. We're also going to enrich the feature set, specifically integrate with HR systems, adding real time monitoring and enhanced policy. So what do we need to make this happen? $300,000 to bootstrap, $600,000 fully staffed, or $1.3 million to go 18 months without revenue. About that loud. We're hitting two market verticals, Fortune 1000 companies and small to mid-sized firms. Those firms have moved from IT to marketing departments to brand their company. This product helps protect their brand and we've integrated with Hootsman to facilitate that. Here, we've got a revenue model. Conservative revenue growth starting from those three customers at 8%. Of course, I, as a lawyer, overestimate everything, including expenses. Additionally, $100,000 reserved for contingencies. With this conservative model, we go to profitability in the third quarter of 2015. That's our product. Social app. Who's got questions?